Hi there, my name is Vince and I'm from Mr. Telephone and today I'm going to show you how to install the BT iPlate. An iPlate is a device that uh, uh, removes the bell wire interference from the telephone line if you have broadband. So sometimes it can make a big difference, other times it makes no difference at all. It all depends on how badly the line is affected by radio signals in the first place. Uh, another thing people do is they just remove the bell wire filter, that's terminal number three. But this might cause problems in the future when you go over to uh, a service like like a, a VDSL service, uh, it can uh, when you don't need to plug microfilters into the line, then not all the phones will ring. So I think it's always best just to spend the money, get yourself an eye plate, and uh, it's, it's, it's a better job. So you can only fit an eye plate if you have one of these. This is the newer style NTE Five Master socket. They've been around for probably about 20 years now, so there's a good chance you're going to have one in this in your house. This is the first socket as it comes into the property. So to fit the eye plate, all you need to do is undo these two little screws and then slide this out. Now, you don't have to remove any wiring. If you haven't got any extension wiring connected, there's no point in installing the eye plate. The eye plate only removes the bell wire interference, the ringer wire interference on extension wiring. So if when you unplug this, you've got no other extension wiring, there's no point in fitting an eye plate. You might as well plug that back in, you'll have your ADSL filter already like that, your micro filter, so there's no point in installing an eye plate. But if when you take this off, you have extensions, you'll probably already know if you've got any extensions because you might have a phone in the kitchen, the bedroom, in which case then you have to have the extensions. So you undo the two screws and uh, you slide out the extension plate. Don't yank it out, do it carefully. It may not always be cable tied. Then what you do is you get your eye plate and you put it in between the front plate and the back plate. So you've got a little cut out here which is good so you don't have to remove any of the wiring. So you just plug it in like that and then you plug your front plate back into here. Now, you're going to have to install longer screws. The eye plate will come, let me just put this down, the eye plate will come with two lots of screws. It will come with self-tapping screws and it will come with machine screws. So they're the machine screws, the same as the electrical back box screws. And they're the self-tappers. So what you need to do is have a look at the screws that you took out. Now in this case they're self-tappers. So if I hold the long screw up you just need to match match them. If you can see that they're the same and you can see that it's different from the machine screws. Yeah. So just whatever screws you take out put the equivalent back in. So you uh, get your self-tapping screws And basically, uh, using a Phillips screwdriver, you just screw them back in, which I don't need to do now for the purpose of the video. So that's how you install an eye plate, nice and straightforward. If you want to buy an eye plate, please check out my eBay shop. That's uh, www.mrtelephone.co.uk. Thanks a lot for the video. If you please subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more how-to videos. Thanks very much. Bye now.